running at almost 200 miles an hour, and this has just happened. Here's what happened. We're going to see some contact here. You see Steve Blackburn duck to the inside, then the car behind him looked like maybe may been the 25 car made contact, then the 35 turned Mike Harmon around right in the middle of all these cars. And look at all, look at the hard hits. Alex Bowman goes up on two wheels. We saw it happening live. Another look at it. There's Steve Blackburn. Now Mike Harmon's going to get turned in front of all these cars. That's what happens when you have big pack racing. There's Steve Blackburn getting turned around. See, Mike Harmon's going to get run into by the 35. Catches Joey Coulter and Drew Charlson up against the wall. Look at Alex Bowman up over the top of the 31 car of Mike Harmon. Getting air at Talladega. We've seen that too many times. Let's look from up above. This is the direct TV blimp giving us a shot. Again, that 94 gets out of line, and then the contact from behind by the 25 of Brennan Poole. Yeah, then Nelson Canache in the 35 turns the 31 car. Alex Bowman rides right over top of Mike Harmon and all these cars with absolutely nowhere to go. Again, the accordion effect after Blackburn goes into the grass, they were checking up behind. There's Milk Adun in the six car running into Mark Thompson in the 66, Terry Jones in the 30, Cushman in the seven. Joey Coulter, there's the 61 left of your screen. Really, the car's running. Josh Williams. There's Tom Hesser in the 52. Ken Schrader entry. We're hearing that Tom said he may have a tire going down. You see him slowing down. He may be coming to pit road now. Looks like he is going to make his way down to pit road. Another one slow on the high side of the racetrack. I believe he's made some contact with the outside wall. 67, I believe, with Roger Carter. Yeah, yeah big damage to the right side of that race yeah, car. A lot of damage. I'm sure the ARC officials will look at the racetrack now. When, when you get a car with that much damage, you know parts are he probably broke a brake rotor so there may be a piece of brake rotor yeah he's trying to get down he waited for the pack to go by now he's trying to get off the racetrack and the caution comes out once again take a look at what happened see him right front tire obviously goes down he may have had some damage from from that earlier incident and even some of the cars we didn't talk about being involved they may have had a little bit of body damage as they, as they were trying to avoid it well i think anytime too you get the slightest rub here and and it, it's amazing how quickly you can pop a tire you know you've got sheet metal in there maybe that edge didn't get filed down exactly the way that it needed to be or or one of the panels is just a little bit off and you blow right front here it, it uh as you can see it takes you for a heck of a ride yeah, and you see all the rubber too flying uh, flying around this car so arc officials very wisely through the caution plan may have got a little bump from behind but he straightened it out and jumped to the bottom got in line on the bottom oh car in the wall the one of mikey kyle spinning <laughs> I think there was a car into the outside. Well, there it is right there, the 76. John Ferrier. John Ferrier. So John Ferrier backing down the back stretch. Another look at what just took place. A little bit of contact from the 04 right there of Larry Barford Jr. Turns Mikey Kyle around. And then to look like. The 11 there. Yeah. The 11 Hudson. made a little bit of contact. Brett Hudson made a little contact with John Ferrier. John was just trying to move to the high side, I think, to give these cars, to give Mikey Kyle some room to spin there in case he came back up the racetrack. Look at how close Mikey Kyle gets to going upside down here as he turns around. That car up on two wheels wow. and then back down. Wow. That, uh, that's not something you want to go through. I mean, in your mind, you think Bill? you're going over. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. trust me, you don't want to do that. <laughs> Uh, we, I laugh and I, I refer to Phil. You've uh, you have actually rolled over ten times a barrel roll, going down uh, that back stretch, I believe. Well, uh, coming going into turn going one, into actually. Turn yeah. one. Sure it is. Not fun. Not at all. Not at all. Take you know, look. I think you know one of the things here is obviously guys are moving up. You see that the uh, the 76 there moves up across. The, he, he's probably let, letting off the uh, this older style car like like the Arca series still runs. It. We didn't do it when we raced them. I mean, this is something that just has caught on in the last couple of years. So, uh, oh, oh, big, upside big down, upside over down. and over the 83 of Mike Afrano. A big, big wreck coming out of turn number four into the grass. He goes. Another car sliding by. That's James Hilton in the 48 car. Rolling numerous times. The 83 of Mike Afrano. Ambulance. Let's take a look at what happened coming out of turn four. See him right in the middle of our screen there. 
He may get a little contact from behind. He gets a little contact from behind. Is that Zach Ralston behind him and just turns him in towards the outside wall? You see the tire carcass flying out. Let's watch that engine there. You see the slam down to the ground. Now the engine's already pretty much loose. There's the spring sliding out around the racetrack. There's that fire we talk about, but it was immediately this is, extinguished. This is Zach Ralston the night. He makes kind of lifts the back end of that car up, turns it into the outside wall. He already starts tumbling about the time it hit that outside wall. It looked like the two guys in front of him there, we were talking about real estate earlier, got a little bit too close. And, uh, you know, he, he may have lifted ever so slightly. When you do that, the guy hits you from behind. Obviously, once the rear tires are off the ground, you're not... You, you, any movement on that wheel is is going to turn you that direction and unfortunately turn him head on into the outside wall and over he went and remember it's the landings that are flying <laughs> yeah. out yeah. yeah flying through the air i, I do that yeah it's, it's wow that, yeah. look how high that tire got up yeah. above the car he's probably glad this is one ride in his life that's over i mean it, it, you yeah. know when it's all said and done um you don't see many like that anymore and that that was take, really safe. We're going to take a look at it safe. at about 200 miles an hour here. It looked like to, when he got turned into the outside wall, the left front tire dug in before he even got to the wall. Six and a half tumbles for Mike Afrano. Yeah, I mean, if you hear Zach, he's checking up as yeah. soon as he's hitting him. Yeah. So. I mean, obviously he's trying.